Good morning, everyone. Captain John here, and welcome to day six of our week-long tour. This is going to be the last video in this series. It's been a journey, you guys, let me tell you. Uh, if you have not watched uh, the previous five videos, do me a favor, go back and watch them. They're, they're really great. Um, I haven't started, started editing day one yet. I have a lot of work to do uh, still, uh, but I know that could turn out to be great videos if you guys have watched them in order. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so anyway, today is going to be kind of a quick one. Um, what was supposed to happen today is go to Santa Monica Pier, um, hang out there for the day before I drop them off at the airport tonight. Uh, then usually I would stay in a hotel and go back uh, up to Northern California tomorrow morning. Uh, however, we're getting a late enough start this morning. It's already 9.30. Getting a late enough start. We're still going to go to Santa Monica, uh, but only for a few hours. Uh, we're going to try and drop everyone at the airport a little early. Uh, uh, original schedule was dropping them off at three different times, starting at 1 p.m. through 5 p.m. Uh, but we're going to try and get them all dropped off by 1 or 2 p.m., just everybody at one time. So if I can get everyone dropped off by 3 p.m. today, I have enough drive time to get back up to the San Francisco area. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to kind of play by ear, but that's what I'm going to do today. So get them dropped off and go home. That's the plan. Uh, so, guys, I'm inviting you to join me today on this short adventure. Long for me, but it'll be a short video for you guys. All right, so we made it to Santa Monica here on Wilshire in second. Uh, parked our bus right over there. There's another bus across the street. Intermex looks like that's a uh, it's an international company. Looks like maybe from uh, Mexico. So they're over here visiting. Very cool. Uh, parked right here in front of this place called 800 Degrees Pizza. So I'm gonna have some lunch. There's also a coffee shop next door. So I'm gonna have some pizza and some coffee before I head over to Santa Monica Pier and check it out. Fancy looking pizza place. I mean, you know, for like two people? Um, They're telling me this location is actually about to close. They're moving over to Burbank. So if you are here in Santa Monica, in the near future, this may not be here anymore. It might be a different establishment. They're moving on to bigger and better things, apparently. All right, so I'm sitting outside here. Got a nice view of my bus right there. That's what we're dealing with here. So I don't know if you noticed, but I had them put on anchovies. I know that might be a little weird for some of you guys, but not too many pizza places actually offer anchovies anymore. So I had to go for it. I, uh, I love anchovies, so gotta grab them.
right, so we just finished up here in Santa Monica, about to drop off the crew in uh, the airport. But I want to introduce you to my buddy here real quick. He's been really nice to me this whole trip. This is Chris with a K. Sir. Chris, where are you from, Chris? I'm from Dove Valley, Texas. All right, and why are you on this trip? I'm on this trip just to enjoy the view. So what are you, you're celebrating anything? Uh, not really, just, in, just came the past time. Just vacation, yeah, just vacation. vacation. Nice. What was your favorite part about this whole week-long trip? Honestly, uh, what has amazed me is how fast my driver has gotten me to everywhere I have gone. <laughs> I'm, go I'm governed to 68 miles per hour, so it wasn't that fast. <laughs> we, we still got there pretty fast. <laughs> right, well, out of all the places you visited and sightseeing, what was your favorite? I definitely must have liked the Universal Studios for sure. Yeah, that was my had favorite. A too. Had a lot of rides, had a lot of things to see. Yeah. Definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. Kind of broke now, but for sure, definitely worth it. Broke it and uh, gained a few pounds. That's how vacations oh, yeah, work. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> all right, Chris. Uh, appreciate Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So there were a few uh, people on a trip. I just dropped them at the airport. I'm on my way home. Drop off Carrie. Um, ch check this out real quick. Well, I can show it. Randy's Donuts. That's where Iron Man sat in the donut in the movie. One of those Marvel movies. Some of the kids were asking for that. Uh, wanted to come look at it. And it was just not close enough. But no, there it is. You guys can see it here. It go. So I've only had some time to stop and take a quick rest break. A lot of traffic in LA uh, getting out. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but there was enough to uh, slow me down. So now I made it to uh, the grapevine. I stopped at the rest area, uh, use a restroom, eat my snack real quick. We'll continue down the road. So uh, yeah, what what a great group that was. It really was, you know. And I and like I said before, I don't say that say that unless I really mean it. Um, Really good group. Even Carrie was saying that was one of the better groups that she's had. Uh, so thank you all for being amazing and nice to us. We really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Very generous people. So thank you. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, like I said, going to dead head home now. Uh, I saw about a three and a half hour drive. By the time I get home, because I still got to get to the yard, drop off the bus, put fuel in it. Uh, get it cleaned up, all that good stuff. Uh, by the time I do that and actually get into my house, everybody that I dropped off at the airport will probably already have been home. Uh, <laughs> that's usually usually the way it works. Uh, so, anyways, uh, awesome group, like I said. All right, let's uh, let's get down the road and get home. We made it back to Modesto. It is 9 p.m. and check that out. We use about half a tank of DEF 
and a quarter tank, we're down to a quarter tank of uh, fuel. So we're gonna go put fuel here in a second, but we're gonna put DEF first. Since at half a tank, our DEF pump is over here. Now on this bus, DEF is in the rear right here. So let's get that in there real quick. So DEF, if you uh, don't know, is a diesel exhaust fluid, which is this right here, DEF. So basically that conditions the fuel and the engine to uh, run with compliance for uh, EPA and uh, the Federal Motor Carries Association. It's all about uh, exhaust and fumes and all that. This stuff stinks real bad, so you don't want to get it on you. All right, so that's fueling. Let's see how many gallons it gets us. While I was doing that, let's calculate how many miles we've actually driven on this entire trip. All right, so when we started, we had 83,195. And when we got back to the yard, we had 84,312 which means I drove the bus 1,117 miles. So let's see how many gallons of fuel that gets us. Now what I did not show was on the way down to LA, we actually stopped, I just stopped to put fuel, uh, just enough to top it off. I think I was just above three quarters. So I, I put um, 57 gallons of fuel in on the way down to LA, uh, just so I wouldn't have to put fuel down in LA because um, fueling large vehicles in LA is very difficult and plus fuel right now as we're recording the end of this is like seven dollars and six cents per gallon very expensive uh, that 57 gallons I filled up was like four hundred and fifteen dollars something like that so obviously we want to put fuel, fuel here with our fuel in the yard because we get it at a discount rate we will buy in bulk so we get it cheaper than going to the gas station to get it. Uh, so I only wanted to put enough to get me back here. You know, trying to save the company a little money uh, and plus time. And it saves me a lot of time just waiting to get back here versus trying to do it while on the trip. Uh, so anyways, 57 gallons plus whatever we put here right now. We'll add it up and see what it is. All right, so it gives 121 gallons plus the 57. That's 160. 78 gallons for 1117 miles was it I don't know too many numbers so anyways let's uh, get this bus um, parked and go home and that's gonna do it for this video the final sixth and final day uh, of this week-long tour um, thank you again Carrie to the tour director for being such an awesome uh, tour director it's always great when the tour director knows exactly where you can park the bus, what turns to take, what route to take, and lets you get into the parks for free and helps you, you know, get your meals and all that good stuff. So, what a great person and such such a great positive attitude and funny. Carrie's very funny. So if you ever get Carrie as a tour director, you're in for, for a treat. Uh, and to the group, both from uh, Texas and uh, Tennessee, uh, George, Amy, and Ashley, your groups are amazing, very good kids. Um, hope to see you guys again in the near future. And for the rest of you, I hope you enjoyed this week-long tour. Um, I, I remember going back to the very first day, and I said, I'm just going to do one video like I usually do and just condense it down. And at the end, of, halfway through the first day, I was like, there's no way. There's just no way I can do a one video thing. I'm just going to do... Um, one video per day to stretch it out and make make it fun so that's what we did uh, so now I'm off to my next adventure um, I'm off for the next two days and then I'm going to take an, I'm going on another tour uh, I already got my orders uh, talked to the boss earlier today uh, he asked if I would do this next tour I said yeah sure why not going to Seattle so we're gonna take a I'm gonna dead head up to Seattle Washington and bring a tour back down to San Francisco. It's like a nine day tour. So a little bit longer than the tour I did just now. So um, depending how that goes, I would probably do the same thing. Uh, I don't think I will do nine videos, uh, but I may do a multi-day video for that tour. So stick around, that's gonna be coming up here shortly. 
Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it, and we will see you all down the road. All right, so I just got home. So you guys remember Loki. Loki is uh, my retired trucking dog. So every time I come home, he gets really excited. So let's see if he gets excited today. Hello? Hello? Do you know who I am? Have I been gone that long? You don't know who I am? What's up, Loki? Hey, Loki. Hey, Loki. Come here. Hey. What's up, puppy? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? It doesn't seem like you missed me. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? You miss me? Oh, I missed you too. I missed you too, buddy. Oh, did you miss me too? How can we not dancing around like him? He's a crazy dog.